So we thought we'd take my backpack, dump it on the table and explain what I carry every day in an everyday carry segment. So let's start off with my backpack itself. This is an Under Armour backpack I got on Amazon for about 50 bucks. It has lots of neat features, um, lots of pockets. It's got a waterproof pullover cover and I've got carabiners attached to it all over the place just to clip stuff into. Um, it's also got a laptop slot. So let's start off by talking about what I carry for work. But before we start, if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button down below. So let's talk about what I take to work. I've got my MacBook Pro over here and I've got the fourth gen iPad Air here with the Apple Pencil, the second gen. Um, so those are the two main workhorses. I don't usually bring them both, I, they're interchangeable. And then we have smartphones. I've got my iPhone 12 Pro and I've also got a Huawei P30 Pro. Android, Apple, it's good to have both for me, for what I do. Now let's talk about the other things that you need to get the job done at work. So we're gonna talk about cables and other connective devices. So I've got a hub here, hub, dongle, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, it has HDMI, it has USB, and it has a card reader on it. So I can actually plug this into a bigger monitor and I can do card reading. I can also plug in other devices. Speaking of card reading, I've got two different card readers here. I've got a USB-C one that has micro SD and full size SD cards. And I also have a USB-A version as well for other devices. One of my favorite things lately that has come out are these dual purpose thumb drives. They're USB-C on one and you spin it around and it's a USB-A on the other end. So it works with any device. One thing I have that the average person might not have, and this is probably more for traveling or if you're having to charge uh, and using some other not your own USB port. I've got something called a data condom. And this is basically, uh, you put this uh, in between your charge cable and the outlet or the wall that you're plugging into. And this prevents any data from being transmitted across this little red thumb drive like device. It's really great for protecting you when you're plugging into the back of like say uh, on an airplane or if you're at the charging port at the coffee shop or something like that, just to make sure there's no one on the other side of that plug stealing your data from your phone or whatever device you're charging. So let's talk about charging and power and connectivity for all these devices. The main thing that I use that I carry every day with me is an Aoki GAN charger. And this is a fantastic little super compact travel ready uh, charger. This actually has four ports. It has two USB-A and two USB-C. These are all high capacity uh, ports. So you can actually charge your laptop, your tablet, and your smartphone all at the same time with one charge block, which is fantastic. I also have batteries. I don't always take all these batteries with me, but I just have different sizes depending on if I'm gonna be on location for the whole day or if I'm gonna be on a plane for 13 hours, you know, whatever I think I'm gonna need, I'll bring the appropriate size battery. So I've got a uh, piston power. This is a 20,000 milliamp uh, battery from Logix. I've got a 30,000 milliamp from Alki. This one will actually, both of these will actually charge my MacBook Pro. It's got high enough output for that purpose. And the last one I have, which is really fantastic, this is a 6,000 milliamp battery, but it's actually more than that. This is actually a travel router. It has a couple of really neat features. First of all, it has an ethernet port on the, on the one end. So you can plug this into say your hotel ethernet port and give yourself Wi-Fi for all of your devices. Cause some hotels either they don't, don't have Wi-Fi or it's really crappy Wi-Fi or you're only allowed to put one device on it per account. This gives you the ability to share that with all the devices you wanna pair with it. You can also pair it with your smartphone or your tablet and stream media from it from an SD card slot as well. Plus, like I said, it's a battery as well. So it's super compact, fits in your pocket really nicely. Now let's talk about some of the other weird tools that I have. So one of the things I have is this little um, multi-tool, and this gives me the ability to just fix something on the go. It's got a couple different screwdrivers and different attachments, as well as some pliers and a couple different knives. And probably one of my favorite things, you get these at the dollar store. These little pouches are perfect for carrying a lot of this stuff. Uh, you can actually carry all your cables, any special tools and adapters. Um, I also throw in a bunch of uh, lens wipes in here to clean off different screens or camera lenses, that type of thing. So it's perfect for that. And like I said, these are super inexpensive at the dollar store. So I like the bright colored ones just because they're easier to see in, in a low light situation, like if it's still in your bag or you're in a dark room or a restaurant. They do make them in other colors that come in different styles and configurations, but they're all like a dollar or two and they're great ways to carry a lot of this loose stuff instead of just having bouncing around in your pockets in your backpack. So now let's talk about stuff to play with. I've got my Nintendo Switch. I've got my Odroid Go Super 
And I've even got some music tools as well. I've got this little pocket operator. This happens to be the, the Rick and Morty edition. It's super fun. It's a little sampler, so you can actually make little beats. Um, I've also got a Plinky, which is a little synthesizer that I built. Um, I've also got a Korg Chaosolator. This is a mini chaos pad. And this is uh, an effects machine, but it also is a, a field recorder. So I can actually record and play back MP3s and WAV files. And I use it with this. This is a Soma Ether. This is a basically a deconstructed radio with all the filters on it. So I can actually record electromagnetic sounds of the world around me. It's a very nerdy, super fun thing to play with. And I can take that and then sample it and put it into these other devices and make some beats or whatever I want to do. So if I'm not using my phone to shoot video, I'm using the DJI Osmo Pocket. This is a fantastic little device that is just indispensable. I've taken this all over the world. It's super great just for filming quick, high quality video with super steady, because it's got the built-in gimbal. This little case I got for it as well handle, holds all the little adapters for adapting it to different uh, smartphones. So you can use those as your secondary monitor for it as well. So great little device. They have a new model now that I'm looking to get as well. So for audio uh, and for listening, um, I have a couple options. One is the, these are probably my favorite earbuds. These are the Amazon Echo Buds. These are only available in amazon.com as far as I know, but they're fantastic. They're about $100. Uh, they have noise canceling. They have uh, just great sound for calls, but also for listening to music and a great battery life as well. But I also have actual old school wired headphones because sometimes this stuff lets you down, your Bluetooth doesn't work, you need to make that call, or you just don't want to have to charge something that you forgot to charge and you're going to be on a long flight or something like that. So I actually have some regular wired earbuds as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to like and leave us a comment if there's anything you'd like to know more about or other videos you'd like to see as well. And if you hit the little bell icon, you'll be notified next time we have a new video.